has been discriminated again with the conversation on who becomes president Muhammadu Buhari's successor getting more recognitions on Anis Indigo and all the governors from the southeast region have demanded that an evil man should take the mantle of leadership in 2023. In a communique release on Friday, October 30th, after a meeting in Enugu, the Southeast leaders posit deposited that for the sake of fairness, the region should take the baton of leadership when Buari's tenor ends. The Southeast region is adamant on producing the next president by 2023, Credit Vanguard Source reports. Also, in the community, they demanded a prompt disarming of the headsmen who they said are causing tension and creating security threats in the region, while urging the Southeast to make balance with other regions, the Igbo leaders maintain that the actualization of the 2023 presidency is a must, noting that the zone has not produced a Nigerian leader. The coalition also alleged that there is a gross marginalization of the Southeast region in what contradicted the federal character. The Igbo youth and Masop note with sadness that Igbo land is being discriminated against, against in the location of federal infrastructural projects. We note specifically that all the federal roads in Igbo land are in a terrible state of disrepair. We therefore demand that the federal government should immediately approve a substantial intervention fund to complete this road project. Among those present at the meeting are President of Wanese, Governor Ifine Egwine, David Umai, and Okezi Ikazi, also Senator Ike Ikwerimadu, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Goffrey Onyoma, and others. Meanwhile, David Umayu, the governor of Ebony State, has pitched his tent with those who believe the next president should come from the southeast region. Speaking under a broadcast on Monday, October 26th, Umayu, who is the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, posited that for the sake of fairness and justice, and more importantly, to protect the national harmony, the next president should come from the southeast. The governor further maintained that this is the spirit and the voice of the youth from the region. Thank you, my viewers, for, lo for listening to this news. This is wonderful. Mwike is just playing a crude politics with IPOP members. And he doesn't know that he will definitely pay dearly for what he's doing. Governors must warn him. They should warn him terribly well before he enters into the pit by himself. He went up there and didn't and did not even learn the Nigerian politics. Imagine Amechi knows it is no it far better than him. Amechi knows far be, more be, far better than uh, uh, this guy. Mickey. I respect him so much before as a reverse politics, but the moment he thinks otherwise to, to rise against the evils and even Biafrans to, uh, to order the killings of innocent Nigerians, 
in Oigbo. He has printed his name in the political dust. Nobody, even, I don't know about them, but me, I can never trust him again. I can never depend on him again. Before now, I used to like him, I used to listen to his talk because it makes, it's, it's, meaning, it's meaningful. But now, as long as he, he has developed hatred for Igbos and Biafrans, I don't think the likeness is there anymore. It's not. People I support, you are criticizing, you can never get any support from me again. That is what they need. Igbo need the demands Biafran actualization. Nothing more. What is their, what is the, what is their uh, offense for asking for Biafran actualization? What is their offense? There's no offense in that. Then it should be granted. Let them be granted, giving this opportunity to get this uh, republic without any stress. I don't know why they are delaying this republic for this long. Yeah, why? I think Wiki and some governors from the south, or should I say southeast, the other soldiers to kill secretly. They were the one that other soldiers to arrest Biaf I IPOP members. What did they do? Nothing. They have done nothing wrong to him. Even till now, they are still detained. This is not fair at all. This is not who should, should call a good leader, a wicked good leader, that any little thing uh, citizens uh, cost him or cost uh, him. The next thing is to, to, to kill, send attacks, attackers to send hoodlums to kill that person, which is very wrong. Which is very wrong. I can never support him again. I don't know about others. So I see supporting him, they are still following him blindly. But notwithstanding, that is their choice. So viewers, what do you have to say concerning this? You have heard what Winky has just said. And the decision made by some Nigerian youth and also the meeting being organized by the by Oranese Indigo consigning who becomes the president of Nigeria. Who will be the successor of President Mori Wari to get more recognition? So, viewers, your comments concerning this news is of great importance. Please don't hesitate to drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get more updates whenever I publish any new videos. Thank you.